Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, what we're going to talk about is cold steels, medium to large size folders. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so if you've been around this channel for a little bit, you know that I make knives, I sell knives, and I collect knives. So what I'm going to do today is show you my collection of cold steel knives. The cold steel knives that I have on the table are the medium to large size. So anywhere from four inches to about six inches in blade length and probably a eight or nine inch overall uh, type of configuration. All the blades here I purchased myself, but if you want to support this channel, I really appreciate it. All you have to do is go to threeriverblades.com, purchase a knife from me, and they are not cold steel, but they are my knives made from yours truly, and I will get it out to you as soon as possible. Another way you can support this channel is go to Patreon, become a Patreon member. All the videos, including this one, will be filmed and sent to Patreon members earlier, so you don't have to wait for that Sunday at 7, uh, 7 a.m. every morning. I will send it out as soon as it is done, and all my Patreon members get to watch them early. So if that's interest to you, only cost you a dollar a month. Also, we have merchandise, so uh, mugs, cups, hoodies, shirts, all that kind of stuff. If you're interested in that, just go to the links down below. All the knives that you see here will be purchased from my Amazon store. I'll have a link for that for you below. Now, if you guys are really interested in getting some discounts on some of my knives, you have to be on that mailing list. It's very simple. All you do is go to threeriverblades.com, scroll all the way down to the bottom, first name, last name, email address, hit send, and then once a month or once every two months, I will be sending out a discount code, so you get a code there. Also, don't forget to check out Three River Kydex and Three River Survival. Those are my other two channels where Three River Kydex, I make um, Kydex sheets, I make Kydex pouches, and a whole bunch of Kydex gear. Or if you're more of a survivalist, gear review type of person, you can go to Three River Survival. Uh, I do plate carriers and go bags and all that other good stuff. So I really appreciate that. So enough of me jabbering. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the camera pointed down below and you'll get to see all the cool knives that I have down here on the desk. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so as you can see here, I have quite a bit of knives. Again, these are my medium to large knife collection. Uh, we'll start over here on the left. This happens to be the Immortal. No longer in production, I'm sorry to say. It is more built like a Gladius, so a Roman sword, if you will. Uh, they had him in green G10 and also in coyote tan. What I like about this is obviously the blade shape looks like a small Gladius folder. It does have the uh, pocket opener, so if you wanted to deploy it quickly, you could. Really nice grippy G10 with some grooves, has the lanyard hole, and it also has a pommel strike in the back, if you can see that right there, that's kind of cool. Uh, the blade steel is CTSXHP, made in Taiwan, nice hollow grind half a tanto point right there. Really, really nice. These used to sell for about $130. Uh, again, really nice blade, blade shape. This is about a, a four inch handle, I'm sorry, four inch blade with a, about four and a half inch handle. So really nice. Unfortunately, these are discontinued. If you find them on eBay and you're interested in this, then go ahead and grab it up. So really, really cool knife. Again, lanyard hole in the back. The clip is changeable, so you can put it from your left side to your right side if you like. Tip up configuration only, but really nice, cool idea. I think Andrew Demko was the person that um, set this one up and a really, really asset to uh, Cold Steel's collection if you can grab one. All right, the next one is actually a really, really nice knife. This is the SR1. It's almost five mils thick. I think it's like 4.8. This is a really sturdy and stout knife. This happens to be a clip point. It also comes in a tanto point if you like that. Uh, made out of CPM S35VN. Again, also made in Taiwan. Really nice G10 grips. They also have a light version. So if you didn't want this heavy, thick uh, version, um, you can get the lighter one and it's probably gonna be a little bit cheaper. But for me, this is one of those things where it's a 
folding knife that's supposed to be like a fixed blade knife. And again, really nice four inch blade. I'm a big fan of that. Very easy to grip and hold onto. The clip itself is very stout, so it's not a pocket ripper like a lot of the other ones. You can switch it from uh, right side to left side. Tip up configuration only. Very nice thumb studs on both sides. Very easy to open, that kind of thing. You can uh, grip up on it with this little uh, finger choil right here. And I guess this was the SR1, like the fixed blade style. They wanted to make a folder and it turned out really, really nice. Again, you can get this in uh, Tanto or you can also get it in clip point like you see here. Highly recommend, these are still available. I would definitely recommend if you're looking for a folder that you can use as a fixed blade, the SR1 is really nice. The next blade we're gonna talk about is the Ultimate Hunter. This happens to be in Hunter Orange, obviously. Um, you could also get it in black if you like. This one happens to be uh, numbered. You can see right there, it is numbered. Really nice blade. The design here was obviously for hunters. I myself as a hunter and I do use blades, but most of the blades I use are mine because I make knives and I like a fixed blade knife if I'm gonna gut a deer. However, this is a very, very nice option. S35VN, so it's a very good steel. The G10 uh, is very smooth but grippy, so you don't have to worry about this falling out of your hands. Also, it does have these little finger um, swells. It's really nice on both sides, makes the knife very, very comfortable. Again, I don't know if you ever skinned an animal before, but you're gonna be there for a while. It's not gonna be one, two, three. I do like the fact that you can grip up on this and you could use your finger here. That's kind of the deal behind this, is to have that nice drop point hunter slope so you can get inside the animal and cut away what you need. Uh, you can switch it from right side carry to left side if you like. It does have a generous lanyard hole in there if you like that. And also a triad lock. Again, most of these are gonna come with a triad lock. Really nice, comfortable, and, and, and again, this is not a cheap knife. These are coming in at, let's see, on Amazon website. Uh, Amazon's gonna have them for about $80, $90, all right? So really good price for what you're getting. You're getting premium steel, premium handle material, triad lock. And I like the orange myself because if you drop it in the woods, you won't lose it. And uh, I think this is very, very well made. So S35VN, again, beautiful knife, highly recommend. All right, the next blade we're gonna talk about is the Max 4 Scout. You probably saw this in my other video. Uh, Max Force Scout, very, very stout utility knife. Again, this has that nice four inch handle, I'm sorry, four inch blade and almost a four and a half inch handle. Uh, really nice, this is the OS 10A version. Now they do make one that's not the Scout, is the Elite, which is about $400. Right now, Amazon has these of this today's date, which is 226, 2022. They have this on sale for Amazon for $63. It usually sells for $129. So if you're watching this, I would ch check it out right away. The link will be down below. If you could snag one up, snag one up. Again, these are really nice. They come in different color coordinations, uh, really stout blade, grivery handles. And again, another thick knife. This is about five mils thick, generous thumb studs. So for left or right. You can use these handle holes right here to put a pin in it. If you put a pin across here, it will be used as a fixed blade knife. Uh, triad lock, like I said, very generous pocket clip so you know, it won't rip up your pocket. It's not too grippy, so really, really nice. I EDC this knife a lot, which is why it's on a bunch of videos, and I'm a really big fan of this. So if you can, get out there, get one now. That is the 4 Max Scout, excellent blade. All right, the next two knives are the AD10 and the AD15. This is the AD15 Lite. These are both Andrew Demko designs. These are outstanding blades. I think if you were gonna go with a choice uh, of pocket knives with it, more along the lines of a high-end model, I would use one of these two, depending on how you like your locks. Again, the AD10 is a really nice stout blade. Uh, coming in at around, I want to say three and a half inches to four, but the the handle itself is just really nice. Uh, it is a G10 
similar to this one um, with the lock or pin up front. It does have a little bit of a palm strike in the back. If you wanted to use that, you could. Generous lan lanyard loop, as you can see in the back. Very generous pocket clip. It's very wide and flat. It's not gonna rip up your pocket. You can flip it around to the other side. It is tip up only, tip up only. But again, this is really nice. And it's not that hard to open with one hand. Some of these triad locks are a little bit difficult. Jimping on the back, really, really nice. This gives like a really nice palm swell. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but uh, the way these handles are kind of like bowed out kind of gives you that nice, really good handle, really good fit. Uh, this one is made from S35VN, so premium steel, premium handle. This is really nice. I think this one sells for about 110 to 135 on Amazon right now. If you can grab it, I highly recommend it. It's a little bit beefy. If you're not a beefy, chunky uh, person for handles, um, then this might not be for you. You can try the 8015. 8015 is a little bit more unique because the locking mechanism is on top. You have to pull it up to close the blade. It's a little bit different, but the scales on it are very, very comfortable. Uh, I don't feel any hot spots. It has this long pocket clip. Uh, you can switch it to the other side if you like. And look at the rear liners. It looks really nice. Okay, the back strap itself, sorry, the back strap itself is really nice. I'm sure you can pimp these out, take them and change them. It does have jimping on top of the blade, which is really nice. So if you need to hold on to it, you can. Same thing, nice four inch handle. This one happens to be OS 10A, so it's a little bit cheaper steel, but I do believe that because it's the AD15 light, it's a little bit cheaper. If you got the regular AD15, Andrew Demko 15, it's gonna be more expensive. Again, really cool, kind of gadgety. You have to get comfortable with the way this thing closes and keep your hands out of it, but you can flip this out with one hand. Again, you're gonna have to try to practice to get that lock out. So not a triad lock, a little bit different. Again, this one is probably gonna be about uh, 160, 165, if you get the regular version, the light version is gonna be a little bit cheaper, but excellent overall blade. You could flip it with one hand, highly recommend. All right, the next blade we're gonna talk about is the Black Talon. This thing scares the hell out of me because it does close on your fingers if you're not careful. I don't know if you can see that right there, but you probably don't wanna get your finger caught in here when this thing falls down. So be very careful with this knife. It is a very, very thin profile. This is basically a martial blade. It is for self-protection. Very, very sharp. It does have the pocket opener if you wanna catch that on your pocket and it will help deploy the knife. Uh, again, as you can see that design right there, that hook design, um, really, really nice for self-defense applications. Uh, CTX, CTS, XHP made in Taiwan. G10 handles, very, very grippy, very, very nice. Very, very grippy, very nice, very lightweight. And again, like I said, if you're gonna close this knife, make sure your fingers are added away before you close it. Pocket clip, again, generous. It's not the pocket ripper, so you can flip it on both sides. Tip up only, uh, carry, but man, G10 on the back. But if you can just feel the weight on this, Another Andrew Demko design, uh, excellent black. This is actually the Black Talon 2, so I'm sorry, Black Talon 2. Really great knife, highly recommend. You're looking at about $136 on Amazon right now as we speak, but can't beat that uh, for this type of blade. I would be very careful with this. Again, it's only for self-defense. All right, the next couple are my Code 4 knives. Um, really liking the Code 4 knives. I believe Code 4 is a police code for um, LAPD. If I'm, I'm mistaken, please put it in the comments below. I have three different types. I liked all of them, so I bought them all at the same time. Again, uh, they're about $80 a piece, so they are not cheap. Uh, the Code 4 design, most of them will come with a aluminum handle. Uh, the blade steel, I believe, is S35VN, at least the new ones are. So this might be the OS 8 version because this one's a little bit older. 
This is the clip point, very, very thin profile, aluminum handle, which is different for cold steel. They don't make a lot of stuff in aluminum. Has a really nice lock on it, really nice lock up. Uh, it might be a little bit difficult to deploy with one hand, uh, no, not so bad. Uh, really good blade, thin, 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 light, light, light. Uh, if you're someone that you know as a policeman, they'll really enjoy this because it's not heavy. Uh, the pocket clip is the same as the ones that are on the recons, but because this is smooth aluminum, you don't have to worry about it ripping up your pocket. You can switch it over from right to left side. It is tip up carry only. And again, what's really cool about this, it comes in a clip point, it comes in a tanto point, and it also comes in a spear point. The blade itself is about three and a half, almost four inches, and the overall length is eight, about eight or nine inches. So uh, really nice, comfortable. It does have some beveling on the inside. You can see here, really nice beveling and beveling on the outside. So highly recommend. I would definitely uh, give this to someone that's in law enforcement, military, that kind of thing. Again, because of its thin profile and its sturdiness, it's a really good buy, definitely good buy. So. All right, guys, last but not least, this is my knife. This is my EDC folding knife. It has been for some time. This is the Recon 1. I'm a big fan of this. Cold Steel really doesn't have a designation for Recon 1 folder other than it is the 4-inch version. So it's a 4-inch blade with a 5-inch handle. This is the most common one that you're going to find. Uh, it usually is around $80 to $90 depending on the steel. Uh, and depending on when you get it. It comes in three different configurations as far as this version. It has the spear point, the tanto, and the clip point. This is the, the original one that I purchased. It is in OS 8. They now come in S35VN. It does have the triad lock. It also has a little bit of jimping on top. It is a hollow grind knife, uh, G10 textured grip. So you can hear that, that grippiness. Uh, the good thing about the grippiness is it won't fall out of your hands. The bad thing is it'll probably rip up your pocket. Um, this is, these are the pocket rippers. So what I did is like every other person is if you can see there, I kind of picked up the clip a little bit, bend it up a little bit so it doesn't rip up your pocket again to each his own. So I have one in spear point, big fan of that. That was my original. Uh, I also upgraded to S35VN. This is one of the new ones. So this is in clip point, really nice blade. Also, I upgraded to this one as well. This is the Tonto uh, S35VN, really good blade. And I think this is a second Tonto. I think, yep, these are, these are actually duplicates. Uh, one I was using as a collection and the other one I was using as EDC. This one was my EDC. So I still have that. And then I have a couple specialty versions. Uh, this is the Recon 1 with a satin finish. Uh, basically this knife right here, but it is a satin finish. And I got this, I believe, from like a Canadian special. Uh, there was a somebody from Canada that was selling these. It was like a um, just for the store kind of thing. And I EDC'd this for quite some time and there's some chips out of the blade I gotta fix but this is a S35VN, so excellent blade. I don't mind it, it's a user, that kind of thing. Here's another special version of it. This is the copper tone one, where it has a green handle and a copper finish, all right? This one is just for collection, really nice. I spent a lot of money on this one. I think I had to get it on eBay because they don't have them anywhere. Uh, also, there is another version of this, which I'm looking at, but it's very expensive, where they have a tan handle and a black blade or tan handle and a stainless blade. Again, to each his own. This to me is the uh, ideal size of an everyday carry knife. It gives me everything I want. I have my four inch blade, five inch handle, grippiness, really good lock up. I don't have to worry about the lock breaking. Uh, and again, they're affordable. They're less than $100 and they're very, very common. And if you break one, you can go buy another. So to me, these are the ultimate uh, EDC knife. All right, guys, so that's it right now. Let me bring you back up top and we'll finish up. 
All right, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. If you have any of these blades or are interested in any of these blades, I'll put all the links down below. Again, it's gonna go to my Amazon store, so if you buy some for me, I really appreciate it. Uh, it throws a little change my way. Also, like, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff. Make sure that you um, put a comment down below. I really appreciate it. And also go to 3riverblades.com if you're looking for a custom handmade knife by yours truly. I will make you a beautiful knife. Uh, not folders, sorry, I don't make folders. Um, but uh, thank you very much, guys. And as always, please stay safe.